This morning, a global search underway for the surviving female suspect in the terror attacks in France. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of people took part in vigils and rallies across the country Saturday to show their support for freedom of speech and to honor those victims. CBS 2's Alana Gold is here now with more on another rally scheduled for later today. Alana. Andrea, that rally will start in just a few hours and security is going to be tight. A huge crowd is expected to march through Paris, including leaders from countries across Europe and the Middle East, and they'll be spreading a message of unity. New video shows police tightening up security around Paris, preparing for a massive rally, where today more than a million plan to march and honor the 17 people killed in last week's attacks. This happening is top security officials from across Europe and the U.S. hold an emergency meeting to fight terrorism. It's a miracle that we're all still here. This survivor of one of those attacks still shaken. He's one of more than a dozen who hid inside a refrigerator in a kosher market on Friday as a Medi Koulibaly held customers hostage. He was there to kill everyone. If we went back up, it, it would have been a slaughter. It was this store clerk's idea to hide customers in the deli's walk-in refrigerator after Koulibaly barged into the business and immediately killed four people. Before police stormed in and killed Koulibaly, the hostage taker did an interview with a French journalist List on the phone. Ranting, you will never enjoy peace and stop attacking the Islamic State. Right now, investigators trying to piece together his connection with Saeed and Sharif Kawachi, the gunman behind Wednesday's deadly attack at Charlie Hebdo, a satirical newspaper in Paris. Two days later, police killed the Kawachi brothers during a standoff at a printing plant where they took the owner hostage. I didn't get the impression that they were going to harm me, even if it does seem to be unbelievable, but that's precisely the situation I found myself in. Koulibaly had claimed he and the Kawachis planned the attacks, something investigators are still trying to figure out. They say his widow could have the answers. She's Hayat Boumedine and she's on the run. French authorities say it's possible she flew from France five days before the initial attack, went to Istanbul and ended up in Syria. Officials claim she was in communication with Sharif Kawachi's wife and in the past she's been questioned by police about her associations with known Islamic radicals. At this point, it's unclear what her ties could be to the violence. Police are still trying to figure out if more attacks were planned and if the U.S. was a possible target. Diane, back to you. All right, Alana, thanks.